Chapter 2, question 22b asks, find the 52nd percentile. Our first task is to figure out what row we're supposed to be looking at. And we know that it's this, this interval of 30 to 39, which is actually 29 and a half to 39 and a half because at 29 and a half, we're at 45, and we need 45 is less than 52. And by 39, we're up to 80, and 80 is greater than 52. So for A, we were here. For B, um, we are here in this one. So step one is to find the width of X. Now, the width of the X intervals is always going to be the same within a given question. So the width we can get from the previous qu uh, question, a 22a, and the width on x is 10. To calculate it again, it's 39.5 minus 29.5, and that's 10. The interval on the percentages uh, side and the percentages column is usually going to change. So we take the top, which is 80. That is the percentile that is associated with the top of this interval, 39.5. And we subtract the percentile that's associated with the bottom, which is 29.5. So we're going to take 80, subtract 45, and that gives us 35. Step two, we need to find how far into this interval is the 52nd percentile from the top. So we have 80 at the top, we have 45 at the bottom, and our question is, where is 52? So this whole piece is 35 units. How far, proportionally, is 52 from 80? So we're going to take 80, subtract 52, and divide by 35. So we get 28 divided by 35, which is equal to 0 0.8. Step three, we want to find what is 0.8 of, of 10 on this, the interval on the x column. So we're going to take 0 0.8, which is what we got in step two, multiply it by the width on x, which is what we got in step one, so multiply it by 10, and we get eight. Step four, the top of our interval is 39.5. The bottom of our interval is 29.5. We know that overall this is 10, and we want to go down 8 units to find this value. So we do 39.5, subtract 8, which is equal to 31.5. So we can say that the 52nd percentile corresponds to x equals 31.5.